Hi, this is Susanna Bowling and the Times Square Beat, and we are at the 2016 Drama Desk nominations. Come with us as we meet and greet all those actors and actresses, playwrights, sound designers, you name it, anything that has to do with theater. Everything I can. You know, uh, Jimmy Ray is kind of the awesome and, 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 and the ends of the spectrum of, of me. The young, like really hopeful 18 year old kid to someone who's now seen the world and been uh, handed a really bad hand of cards and full of grief. So, you know, I get to use all of myself in this part. There's always several answers to that because, of course, I'm greedy. Um, well, I personally I, think you should be doing American Psycho. Oh, well, you know, um, at the Lord Tell Awards last, last week, I almost made a joke about it because my hair was still the way it is in the second act, and of course, uh, that's kind of how he's doing his hair. Anyway, um, I would really like to play Bobby in Company. Uh, yeah, I would love that to play that part. I wish I had a really rich baritone voice so I could play Sweeney Todd. Uh, and then as far as, you know, dramatic classical theater, I'm interested in playing Iago and Hamlet eventually. I'm AJ Scheibe. What does it feel like being in Steve Martin's show? It feels, it feels really good. It feels like a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's a family tale about a mother's love and, and a young man's journey toward discovering himself. And to be able to get that catharsis, to, to go through that journey every night, is, is, has been one of the greatest pleasures of my, of my career so far. And if you could pick another show to follow this, what kind of show would you like to do? I, I love doing the works. I think, I think my heart's in doing the works. I love seeing how they come together. Star for about two years, over two years at this point, and seeing how it's grown and how it's changed and, and how, how the creative process works, I think it's my, it's my favorite part. I look for big stories, really great stories, and I think The Color Purple is a tremendous story. Alice Walker's what material, the original novel, is, is beautiful, it's a classic of its time. So I look for, I look for big stories and I look for things that, that are in some way empowering about humanity, and I think, this, I think the piece is. Well, next time I'm about to go and be the artistic director at Classic Stage Company. And tonight I have the first preview of a, a play, a Pier Gint. So uh, I'm excited about that. With the incredible Danielle Brooks from The Color Purple. Danielle, where do you come from to do this role? Um, where do I come from? I mean, like, literally, where do I come from? <laughs> or, um, well, i give you a brief history of myself. I'm from South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina. I grew up in the church and did my first church play there, and my mother found all of these programs for me to be involved in, like theater programs to be involved in, and I just was super, I loved it. It was my playground, it was the, made me, I don't know, it just it brought out all of my imagination, and, and, and I got to um, just really, I, I don't know, I fell in love with the theater. Show, which was the color purple uh, 10, 11 years ago. And uh, then I, when I saw that production, I was like, I want to study this for real. And so I went to Juilliard, studied theater, and now here I am two years later in the color purple. And what did you yourself to bring to this Oh man, I think um, the only thing I, I have to bring honesty and truthfulness in everything that I do. I, um, I, I, there's so many things I can have that I bring that of myself when it comes to the humor, when it comes to um, really who can't relate to um, feeling strong and being knocked down and getting back up. We all can. So that's something that I that's all my magic show. Life, I bring into every night. But yes, yes. What of yourself did you bring to this role? You know, this role came up so last minute.
in it for me. And I had, luckily for me, the play is written in such a beautiful way that it was like I just sort of leaned into the text. And it's all about survival, this play. And as an actor in New York, that's something I think all of us are very familiar with. That sort of just fight, you can't stop trying, you can't stop fighting. And also, the, the beautiful thing about the play is that since it jumps around in time, I also got to kind of remember that kind of hopeful, young 20 year old, you know, uh, feeling of, of anything is possible, which is also a beautiful thing I think to have in the play.